Gartner's world star Monty Don was found by his wife after a terrifying collapse, and rushed to hospital where morphine was injected into his veins. The star had succumbed to a bad case of peritonitis, which can quickly prove fatal if left untreated. Monty, 52, had been filming for the TV series Around the World in 80 Gardens when he became unusually exhausted. I said to my director I feel really tired and then woke up in the middle of the night feeling dreadful, he told Amateur Gardening magazine. My wife found me collapsed. If she had not found me I would have died. I got into an ambulance at 2 am and they stuck morphine into my veins. He had contracted peritonitis just before he traveled to South Africa. The father of three, who has also been open about his battle with depression, had become run down after taking on a heavy workload. He had not taken a holiday for two years at the time of his collapse. Peritonitis develops after the intestines become perforated and it can be deadly, so reacting quickly is vital. Fortunately, his wife Sarah sensed during the night that something was wrong and sought help. She has helped him through numerous other struggles too during a marriage that has lasted almost 40 years. Sarah has been at Monty's side during financial collapse, when he was on the brink of bankruptcy earlier in his career prior to his Gardner's world success, and also during his bouts of anxiety and depression. The Gardener's world star was left in floods of tears after his family jewelry business failed, but Sarah intervened by gently telling him, you need to see a doctor. She said you have to see a doctor because I can't cope with you and three small children and our life as it is, he explained to the Times in an earlier interview. He recalled suffering childish, pathetic, bleating pain which left him distraught. His daughter Freya and sons Adam and Tom would lament, why is daddy always crying? Which led Sarah to realize he needed professional help, for the sake of the entire family. Antidepressants helped initially and I had cognitive behavioral therapy on the NHS, which was very good, he added. Mondi later wrote a book with his wife called The Jewel Garden, A Story of Despair and Redemption, and it was released in 2005. It told of how the gardening projects that made Mondi a household name rose from the ashes of a spectacular commercial failure. The gardening star also had his religious beliefs to fall back on, admitting that he was raised a strict Christian and is now pantheistic. What I feel about gardening, is if, you put your energy into the energy that is already there, you can do anything, he explained.